Welcome to Techzoid. If you use a Verizon phone, you may have noticed an app called Verizon App Manager running in the background. But what is it? And do you really need it? In this video, we'll explain everything about Verizon App Manager, whether it's useful, and how to disable it if you don't want it. Let's dive in. What is Verizon App Manager? Verizon App Manager is a system app found on some Verizon Android devices. It helps manage and recommend apps, sometimes automatically downloading sponsored apps, onto your phone. Verizon claims it improves the app experience, but many users consider it unnecessary bloatware. One of the most controversial features of Verizon App Manager is its App Cloud service, which pushes recommended apps to your device. This can be frustrating if you don't want apps installed without your permission. Do I need Verizon App Manager? The short answer, no, you don't need it. Verizon App Manager does not impact your phone's core functions, and many users prefer to install their own apps manually. If you're annoyed by app recommendations or automatic downloads, you may want to disable or remove it. How to disable or remove Verizon App Manager If you don't want Verizon App Manager on your device, here's how you can disable or remove it. Go to Settings on your phone, Open Apps or App Manager, varies by device. Find Verizon App Manager in the list of installed apps. Tap on it and select Disable or Uninstall Updates, if available. If you're also receiving unwanted app recommendations, disable App Cloud in the same way. In conclusion, Verizon App Manager is a system app that manages and recommends apps, but it's not necessary for your device. If you want to read the full article, check the full article link in the description. If you don't use it, disabling it is a simple way to stop unwanted downloads. Have you had issues with Verizon App Manager? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more tech tips. Thanks for watching Techsoid, and we'll see you in the next video.